every day you do it. In a little while, if you simply sit here, things around you will reverberate. Really. If you don't identify with anything, there is enough energy in this to become intense. See, I Welcome back everyone. In this video, we will look into what Sadhguru has to say or guide us regarding overthinking and negative thoughts. Right now, your energy is simply expanded by doing unnecessary endless activity. When you have so much mental diarrhea, how can you have energy? They want to just eat and sleep all the time because mental diarrhea is very exhausting. People are sleeping eight hours, ten hours a day, not because they're working so much or their body is in such a bad state, it's just mental diarrhea. If you stop the mental diarrhea, there's enough energy to make this very, very intense. Now how do I stop mental diarrhea? If you have diarrhea, physical diarrhea, what is the first thing to do? First thing is stop eating, right? You eat bad food and then try to stop diarrhea, it's not going to work. So similarly, bad food for the mind is just this. You have gotten identified with things that you are not. The moment you get identified with things that you are not, mental diarrhea is inevitable. It's bad food for the mind. Now it will run endlessly, do what you want. It's not stopped, isn't it? Because bad food is being eaten, every day you're getting identified with more and more things and you want to stop your mind, you do whatever kind of circus, it is not going to stop. If you disidentify with everything, if you understand what is you and what is not you, if you keep a little distance from that, mind will become still. If you want, you can use it, otherwise you can keep it. Tonight before you go to bed, sit on your bed and sit down and discount everything that is not you. This house in your… in which you're living, is this me? No. This loving parent or mother, father, wife or husband or child, they're wonderful, but is this me? No. Now oh, these nice clothes I'm wearing, is this me? No. Now my body, I like it, but is this me? No. Now I'm having so many thoughts, is this me? No. Now I'm having wonderful emotions, is this me? No. Like this, everything that's not you, before you sleep, keep it down and go to bed. Tomorrow morning, you will wake up considerably more intense than today. Every day you do it, in a little while, if you simply sit here, things around you will reverberate. Really. If you don't identify with anything, there is enough energy in this to become intense. See, I want you to understand, your life energy right now in this body, how many things it's doing here as you're sitting here? Hello, do you know the complexity of activity it is doing? Every cell in the body, your liver, your kidney, your damn spleen and all kinds of stupid things that we cannot even figure even today, yes? Just see as you sit here, how many things this energy is doing. Obviously, it must be intense to do all this. You are not able to experience it because of diarrhea. <laughs> People think uh, there is something called as negative thought and positive thought. They want to remove the negative thoughts and have only positive thoughts. For such people, I would ask them to just experiment for uh, ten, fifteen seconds. Let them forcefully remove one thought from their mind. For example, next ten seconds, just don't think of a monkey. 
try not to think of a monkey for next ten seconds, you will see you will be full of monkeys. So what I'm saying is, this is the nature of your mind, because in this mind all the three pedals are throttle. There is no brake, there is no clutch, whatever you touch it will only go faster. One simplistic aspect of how it functions is, there are no subtractions and divisions in our mind. There is only addition and multiplication. If you try to do something with it, it will say one more. If you try hard, it will multiply into many more. In this mind, you don't try to identify what is positive, what is negative and try to remove it. One simple thing is this. First and foremost process is that's why we put out this uh, process called Isha Kriya. This is to distance yourself from your physiological and psychological process. There is something called as you which exists. This is not a composite of all your thoughts and emotions and physiological processes. Beyond that, there is you. If you close your eyes, even if you cannot see anything, you are still there. It is through the window of your eyes that you are looking out, but if you close your eyes, it doesn't mean that you don't exist, you still exist. So beyond your thought, you still exist. Beyond your emotion, you still exist. So that you, the life that you are, this has to come into your experience. Why is it that you're not allowing that to come into your experience, which is the most significant aspect of who you are? Who you are right now, the most significant aspect is, you and me are alive right now, this is it. What I'm thinking, what you're thinking is not the important thing. We are alive right now, that is the important thing. So, it is important that you focus on this fundamental sense of aliveness within you, and then you will see there is a natural distance between you and your thought process. Once there is a distance between your psychological process and your physiological process, this is the end of suffering. Because there are only two kinds of suffering that human beings go through, physical suffering and mental suffering. Once you create a little space between you and your mind, between you and your body, this is the end of suffering. This is something every human being has to experience and know, otherwise thinking I will just remove negative thoughts and I will have positive thoughts, all the best, it's not going to work one hundred percent, it's not going to work because nobody can remove it, they can avoid it for some time. Now the very question is coming from certain helplessness, what shall I do? Don't do anything, just sit back and just concern yourself with something which is a life process. Maybe your heartbeat, maybe your breath, maybe just the sensation of being alive, depending upon how sensitive or how perceptive you are accordingly, find something. It could be a sensation in the body, it could be breath, it could be heartbeat, it could be anything, something which indicates life to you. Just pay attention to that for some time, slowly you will see there is a distinction between what is you and what you have gathered, which includes both your physiological and psychological possibility or mess, whatever you made out of it. If you are also facing the issue of overthinking, then don't worry, you are not alone. In today's world, we are feeding ourselves with information, data, opinions, likes and dislikes. And somehow, these things have become a part of our identity. And our mind is a master of creating one thought after another. In yogic terms, mind is often referred to as a markata or a monkey. Showcasing is characteristic of jumping from one branch to another, in a way similar to our minds creating one thought after another. We have repeating thoughts regarding our past, present or future which makes us disturbed or fearful. In either way, all our energy and focus is shifted towards our thought process. Thinking about future all the time might not be a wise thing to do since we cannot predict the future. The basic understanding that we must all have is that it is perfectly fine if we don't have all the answers. People who aim for perfection may also end up constantly analyzing their actions leading up to fear of making mistakes. Many of us also do the mistake of self-criticism. Doing a self-audit is always beneficial 
but can be disturbing when done on a regular basis and it also distracts us from our goals whenever we are faced with a problem and are unable to find any solutions to it our thoughts go on autopilot and we become anxious it is always better to stay calm and look for solutions rather than focusing on the problems once you are affected with a problem think about how you can fix it rather than complaining about it once you get the solution move away from it and get into action many a times our problem of overthinking will get solved once we take some action just keeping on thinking and no action will push us deep into repetitive cycles thereby leading to overthinking and worries when we get trapped into our thought process we unknowingly miss our life we get so engaged in our thoughts that we are unable to enjoy life itself whether it is family relationships job career entertainment sports or anything we tend to become very busy with our own thoughts and we tend to miss the beautiful moments of life for example when we visit a beautiful location we are so much engaged in our head that we forget to enjoy the beauty and relax ourselves and when the time comes to leave we recognize that we haven't got enough of the pristine location to compensate such things we need another trip to that same location or hill or garden to cherish them properly and this happens with us everywhere every time if we are unable to control our minds we tend to become emotional for little things that otherwise would not have affected us our relationships go bitter and laziness starts to creep into our lives once you are getting away from taking actions you get more and more compulsive food is one such example for most of the people fall prey to our compulsive eating leads us towards fast foods which makes us more lethargic and thereby dropping our energy levels things with which we are identified becomes a part of who we are and then anyone who is different from us or is not on our side becomes our point of conflict inside us these are all the results of overthinking as a result it is of utmost importance to take care of our mind one simple thing everyone can do is bring some kind of physical activity if there is enough physical activity in our day to day life chances of us getting into boredom is less once we get bored with life negative thoughts creep in another simple yet great option is to have a walk in nature nature has its own ways of refreshing us and a walk in nature is great for our health as well as our minds if you have enough time on your hands you can spend some time in nature or mountains to get yourself a wind wash a few minutes of wind wash will surely cheer you up as well as get your mind fresh walking barefoot on soil will also help always remember we are a part of nature and being in touch with mother earth will always make you feel lighter having a good quality sleep is also important for waking up fresh in the morning staying away from electronic gadgets before sleep will surely help in increasing the quality of sleep a good sleep will help you start your day with positivity and one option that everyone must include in their lives on a daily basis is meditation meditation when done properly helps in removing stress making one calm and relaxed the main benefit of meditation is that it will help you stay connected with the present moment meditation is aimed at creating a distance between you and your mind satguru and isha foundation have many such programs to begin your spiritual journey to know your inner self and one such basic process is known as the isha kriya it is available for free on the satguru app it is a very simple 12 minute potent process designed by satguru himself if you just invest around 12 minutes a day it has the power to transform your life 
Isha Kriya will help you stay healthy, calm, dynamic and peaceful. Just 12 minutes and you are ready to cope up with the modern day hustle. If you wish, you can also take inner engineering program designed by Sadhguru. This program is available in several languages and it is also available in online format. Inner engineering has transformed the lives of millions of people all around the world. Once you start daily practice of Shambhavi Mahamudra Kriya taught in inner engineering, you will see tremendous decrease in compulsive behavior within yourself. And you will also realize that things that bothered you before don't stick to you as much. You will have a calm and peaceful mind. And more so, you will be more involved in the present moment. Once you are in this stage, overthinking and negative thoughts won't be able to disturb you. There are also more advanced programs offered by Sadhguru and Isha Foundation. Isha Kriya and Inner Engineering are the best way to start your spiritual journey. If you like this content, then do share it with your friends and family. And do press the bell icon to get notified when we upload a new video.